Hello, you found us, huh? In the short-term rehabilitation unit at Good Samaritan okay. Society, Albert Lee, in Minnesota. How are you doing, sir? Residents. So I'll start working on that right away. And we'll come and go done. often. <laughs> Thanks, I'll be right back. Helping them heal and lending an ear is nurse Joe Abrego. I love to um, take care of people. Love to see them uh, get better. Hey, John. How are we doing? John Sorley is recovering from a bad fall. What did I say about Joe? He's a first class nurse. He's an old school nurse, a real nurse. He knows his stuff. And I based that on the fact I had five aunts Thanks, that were John. nurses. Okay, I'll see you later. An experienced caregiver now. Hey Richard, it's Joe at a Good Sam. Joe found the nursing field after a local foundry a shut down. For you. I got a new admit, took some test and they said, yeah, you, you should be a nurse. It's like, okay, we'll try it. Does he got a fork? From med surge to behavioral health, the 55-year-old has been at a bedside We're since 2006. He's an interesting nurse. He's quite humorous, actually, <laughs> uh, but he cares about the residents. He's there for them. He has private conversations with them and lets them know that they come first. But here at Albert Lee, it just seems to be the, the model here. Joe's model is you landing know, him recognition. He earned the Daisy Award for Extraordinary Nurses. Hello. How are we doing today? Just gonna get a set of vitals on ya. He will put himself behind to give more time to the residents. And he does it every day with every resident. He will go out of his way to do anything for anybody at any time. That little extra time, if fresh water, snacks, fixing their TV or a phone. And a lot of times at night, I've always worked evenings, you know, there's nobody around. I can't call maintenance and say, hey, can you come fix this TV for me? <laughs> So yeah, it's the little things that probably mean the yeah. most to them. If you need help with that, call. Anytime I go to talk to a resident, they're always saying, well, Joe told me this, or Joe did this. So it's all about Joe. <laughs> they love Joe. <laughs> hey, Dale. Well, hey. I really love hearing their stories, what they did for a living, talk about their families. You just wanted to talk to an old jarhead. That's what you want. <laughs> the veterans really, really have um, a place in my heart that I, I really care deeply for them and appreciate their sacrifice. If I need something, he's always here to give me the... The business. With Vietnam veterans for uncles, Joe honors service to country. <laughs> they gave up a lot, you know. Um, a lot of them are sick because of the time they spent in the military. And if they hadn't did that, you know, we might, might be a whole different world. It's meaningful to me, and I hope it's meaningful to them. All right, you take care now. Yeah, thanks, I'll sir. See you Winning later. an award also means a lot, but more important are the residents and teammates to his left and right. He's kind, he's patient, he... He'll sit and talk to a resident as long as they need him to. <laughs> and then he'll just, I'm just gonna do some vitals. go back and get his work done. It means a lot to me, but if this makes any sense, I mean, that day I got it, we celebrated a little bit, and then it's like, okay. Hello. I gotta go to work. How did your appointment go today? I love working here. Give me that number, that zero to 10. A mentor, Joe plans to share that love with his fellow nurses. And I hope that I can share that knowledge and my skills with the younger nurses so that they stay nurses for a long time. You okay? With the Good Samaritan Society. Okay. And Sanford Health News. Let me see if we can get you something. Okay? I'm Matt Holson. You want some fresh ice water? <laughs>